Welcome to the Campbell Hall. We're in the gallery right now. My name is Greg Williams. I'm the STEAM coordinator here at Campbell Hall. And right now, we're running an exhibition, uh, the STEAM exhibition. So all these pieces that you see around the room are somehow STEAM related. They combine art with engineering or art with science or, or one of the STEM fields. And in just a minute, I'll take you around. We'll, we'll walk, we'll, we'll get a closer view of some of these things. Uh, but first, this is a 360 video. So right now, if you're on an iPhone or an iPad, you can pan around and see the entire room. If you're on a computer, you can just click and drag the screen and we'll, uh, we'll be able to rotate. So let me just uh, walk you around just the lay of the land here. Um, over here, we have an augmented reality sandbox. All the purple pedestals have 3D prints on them. We have posters on the walls that are from our high-speed video camera. Uh, just still shots that we took. And if you come around back this way, uh, we have a harmonograph back here against the wall. That's a drawing machine. A few things over here. Uh, we've actually got a lot of musical equipment set up because we have a, a performance later on today in here. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. And then over here, we have a camera obscura, which is a, a large pinhole camera, basically, that you can walk into. And then the last thing right here, we have our VR setup, our virtual reality setup, uh, and we'll take a quick look at that as well. So we're gonna jump you over to the, the augmented reality sandbox, and we'll look at that first, and then we'll work our way around the room. So this is our augmented reality sandbox. This is the only piece in here that's not a student project. This was done by a couple of our faculty, and it's a really cool piece. Uh, we've got a projection coming down uh, that creates a topographical map on the sand that's in the sandbox. So if we actually change the topography, the map will adjust accordingly. So let me show you. If we make a mountain right here, we get new topography. We can build things up however we want, make a valley. Uh, it's a really, really cool piece. It works with an Xbox Connect. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is we'll start walking along this wall. So we're going to hop over to this point over here and take a closer look at some of that stuff. So we're over here against the wall now. We're looking at some of the posters that came out of the high-speed video camera. This, so again, this is just a still from a high-speed event that we captured. In this case, it's just a drop of milk being dropped into a bowl. And you get this really amazing, I think, a really cool coronet, a crown, that you really can't see, can't appreciate with your naked eye. Uh, but the high-speed video camera really lets us slow events down and, and get some awesome shots. You'll see some other posters along the wall as well as we go down. Some of them, like this one, was, was part of an engineering project that we did. Uh, others are part of a synesthesia project that was done in advanced photography. Uh, we'll also take a look at some of these sculptures that were done. A lot of what you see on the purple pedestals, those are from our new class that we just started this year, uh, Engineering Art with Technology. And uh, basically, we're, we're using a new medium for creating art, in this case, technology. Uh, things like 3D scanning, 3D printing, digital sculpting. Uh, we use our laser cutter, the CNC router a little bit. Uh, it really just opens some new doors. Um, but you see some really cool sculptures on these pedestals that we created. We're going to keep working our way down uh, and check out some more 3D prints in just a second. So I wanted to show you uh, what's on this pedestal in particular. These are some 3D prints uh, that represent ballet movements. So we did this really cool collaborative project with one of our ballet classes where we took our virtual reality system in and uh, we used a 3D painting program. It's called Tilt Brush. You'll see it later on in the tour here. Uh, but you're basically, you're painting in 3D. And we kind of ignored all that. We just gave the ballet dancers the controller, the paintbrush and said, dance with this. So wherever their hand went during the movement, um, paint was, was painted. And we could, after, after they danced, we could put the goggles back on and go back in and look. And it was really cool. You could see exactly where their movement had been. But we didn't stop there. We, we took that and created a 3D print of each of the different movements. So here are a couple. And it's really, really interesting to be able to hold something tangible in your hand from an exercise like that. Um, a lot of these 3D prints that you'll see 
were made on one of these two 3D printers. Uh, and this is kind of a special one. The really intricate parts, the fine, fine detail uh, we get from this resin printer. It's not like the uh, extruded plastic, the melted plastic printers that build up layer by layer, but we use this SLA printer. It's a resin printer. Uh, and we really love it a lot. You can get super, super high detail with it. So we're looking at some more 3D prints here. Uh, and I brought you to this one in particular. I want to show you some of the detail you can get with the SLA printer. This is actually, this has been painted. Uh, but this student loved to make these really cool looking creatures that do show some of the amazing detail that you can get with that SLA printer that would be hard on the other one. We're gonna jump now over to the harmonograph over here, uh, which is the drawing machine, and I'll show you that next. So the harmonograph here is a really cool drawing machine. You can see the design, hopefully, that's, that's being created here. Here's a, a, another one, a couple more that you can see that are over on the table created by other students. And it, it works with just three different pendulums that go back and forth and uh, the center one here holds a paper and they all move independently so you get this really intricate motion as you can hopefully see. So now we're over kind of in the other corner of the gallery and uh, I want to show you some of the stuff we have over here. This is a pair of downhill skis. Each year in engineering principles we make a pair of downhill skis and in this semester uh, the class ended up being co-taught with an art teacher so we were able to, to modify some of the projects like this one to really create a cool artistic graphic that I thought turned out just amazing. Uh, it's a really beautiful pair of skis. Uh, so we're gonna keep kind of working over into the other part of this corner. So this is a, a contribution. These popsicle stick towers are a contribution from our middle school. Uh, one of the sculpture classes builds these and uh, they really do a nice job of combining engineering with sculpture, obviously, to get something you know, 10, 12 feet tall like a lot of these end up turning out. Uh, and then behind that we have some AP calculus projects, solids on a base uh, that we did with the help of our CNC router. Uh, let's see, next I think we're gonna jump inside the camera obscura and take a look at that. So you're inside the camera obscura now and I'm gonna come in and join you. I'll try to keep this open, get as much light in here as possible so you can see what's going on. Uh, if you look right over here, we've got our aperture which right now is, is fully open, two inches. Uh, but we do have smaller cards that we can stick in there to, uh, to make it a true pinhole camera. If you look at this, uh, when we bring the screen over, you can kind of see, it's pretty fuzzy, oh, somebody just walked by, uh, an inverted image of what's actually outside. So what's up became down and left became right. And so when you saw somebody walk by, they were upside down. When I drop this in, now it's going to be pretty hard to see, I think. Hopefully you can make out that there is an image there, and it's of our building uh, right here. And the sky is, is down here kind of on the bottom. And it's a lot more crisp when we, when we change that hole size. Uh, so we have different aperture. Oh, somebody else walked by. Uh, so we have different hole sizes that we can experiment with in here, but this is a pretty cool uh, space, being able to actually walk inside of a camera. Okay, next we're going to go check out our virtual reality system. So this is the virtual reality setup, uh, and we're using a, an app called Tilt Brush, which is, um, this is a 3D painting program. So Odin is uh, over here, uh, immersed in this, this uh, environment and he can paint in 3D. And so you're seeing basically what he's seeing in his headset, although it's a whole lot more immersive for him uh, than it is for us. So you can see some of his cool designs that he's been working on. And it's a very cool program. This is what we let the ballet dancers dance with to track their motion uh, sans headset. So that's the Campbell Hall Gallery. Uh, again, thank you for coming along on the virtual tour. If you're ever around here in person, it's definitely worth a visit. Uh, no matter what the show, it's always impressive.